all of this happened within five weeks of somebody putting their hands on me. Then you had gas prices. That's the, that was within the first five weeks. Okay? And then you had inflation. This all happened. The, oh, yeah. Inflation started, and then the gas prices definitely started. But the, the mass shootings and the monkeypox was within the first five weeks after somebody decided to put their hands on me. Because it was all staged anyway. So that's why God, I believe, had me move the way I moved. I showed no fear. They seen I wasn't scared. When you're scared, you run for dear life. You run like an animal, scrambling away. You didn't see me scrambling away. That's what people do when they're scared for their life, by the way, just in case you didn't know. They don't stand there. They don't stand there and take punches from people. They run and scramble. I know you out of touch. You probably don't even know. <laughs> you probably ain't even seen real life hardly. But you're forming opinions about it. Well, I've never known the one that's scared to stand there and take punches. And after those punches, look what you got. I told you, you, you you're going to. You're going to respect me You're going to res because you're going to respect the kingdom of God, which I'm a part of. That's why. It's not me as a person. I don't have a job. I don't have money. <laughs> it's not who I am. It's what I'm a part of. I'm a part of the kingdom of God. I, it's been that way over 22 years. I know. They told you I was a, jo uh, they told you I was a, uh, what they call that jailhouse religion. Jailhouse religion. You thought this was jailhouse religion, huh? 22 years being a Christian, you're in trouble. 22 years of being a Christian, that's trouble time, buddy. That's trouble time. I know, I know. They didn't tell you that, did they? They didn't know it, did they? You messing with a Christian that's a 22, a, Christ, a person that's been a Christian for 22 years. That's a lot of history, buddy. And that's why God is sliding on y'all. That's why y'all getting slid on. Because you messing with some, you thought I would just, see, really, it's racist. You thought I was some little black guy smoking his little weed, smoking his little alcohol, and got a little religion. That's what you thought, didn't you? Because that's what you're used to seeing in the culture. The hypocrisy. Oh, he say he's a Christian, but look what he's doing. You want me to go show you the Bible? What they do? You want me to show you what the servants of God did in the Bible? Way worse stuff than I do. Yeah, see the difference between me and these other people? I don't hide nothing I do. You see what I do? You see what I do? I'm not hiding nothing. I ain't hiding nothing. You thought I was, didn't you? You thought I was hiding something. I don't hide nothing. Because guess what? You ain't got no heavenly. I'm, I'm the one to tell you. You ain't got no heavenly hell to put me in, buddy. I ain't hiding nothing. You see me out here doing what I do. You see me. You see anything I do, you see me do it. You see me do it. I sit right out here in your face and do it. I ain't never had no secretive life where I'm hiding what I do. Never. So I'm not that type of individual. Just in case you're trying to paint me like that, I ain't hiding nothing. That part. You can know what I do. What you gonna do about it? When you got a whole country out of, out of control, what you gonna do about me? You got a whole country marrying children in 44 states. What you going to do? I want to know what you want to do. In your right mind, in your soundness of mind, not these crazy people. What the sound-minded people want to do when you got 44 states marrying children? What you thinking about doing to me? How about now? What you think about doing now? Well, whatever you thought I did pales in comparison 
to 44 states for child marriage, buddy. It pales in comparison to government politician officials passing laws to marry children. Anything you think about me pales in comparison. The worst pedophiles and child molesters are not marrying children. That's worse. Oh, I know you slow, ain't you? So I ask the question again. What's worse? A child molester or somebody that's married to a child? Boom. See, you see, you, you see, see where this is going? You got the wrong one, buddy. What's worse? Somebody groping your child at Walmart or somebody marrying your child? Doing every and anything to them. Every single day. By the way, that's what marriage is. Every day. For you who don't know, kind of slow. Marriage is every day. So guess what that means? When somebody's married to a child, it's an everyday pedophile affair. That's what it is. It's 24-7. It is. As long as they're sleeping with them and everything. Even when they're sleeping, it's still, it's still a pedophile affair. You laying in the bed with a child. That part. Boom. Boom. You laying in the bed with a child. Hey, yeah, that's still a pedophile situation, buddy. Even when you ain't doing nothing. You sitting there laying in the bed with a child with your, with, with your, with your penis out. You got your cock out with a child in the bed. That's a pedophile situation, buddy. Yeah. So how can you compare anybody in this community? I don't care who it is. I don't care what they did. Ain't nothing comparable to a, somebody marrying a child and politicians in America passing laws to marry children. Ain't nothing. I don't care how, if it ain't number five people doing it. It's the fact that the politicians sat down and passed these laws. That's where the death sentence is at. Not a certain number. Well, we got to get a certain number before we get to America. You don't hear me talking about that. Have you ever heard me say, oh, it got to be a certain number before we can win this war. It's got to be a certain number of uh, child marriages. Have you ever heard me say anything to that extent? You've never heard me say nothing about a certain number of child marriages, right? It's the fact that the American government sat down and passed these laws. That's the death sentence. That's the death sentence. That's what makes us, that's what makes them lose and not be able to pass laws and don't deserve a system to pass laws in. They don't deserve to have a system. You know, I don't care how many people doing it or not doing it. They don't deserve to have a system when they passing laws for your children to be married to adults. That's worse than any pedophile in the world. Because it's 24-7. Are you stupid? Say you're stupid. 24-7 versus random acts of pedophilia. Which one is worse? Random acts of pedophilia or a whole marriage, marry a man married to a woman, girl. <laughs> Which one is worse? A whole pedophile marriage or random acts of pedophilia? Because it's a pedophile marriage whether you accept it or not. It's a pedophile marriage whether you accept it or not. There is no, look, ain't nothing hard about this to understand this. What's hard for you is to believe that, it, that America did it. This is what I'm telling you what's hard for you. I'm telling you what's hard for you. You don't believe America did that. That's what's hard for you. You can believe that if they did it, they deserve to not have a system. It's just, just it automatically disqualifies them. So where's your hang up at? That you've made, you've had this false image of America so long, that's what it is. That you can't believe that this is even true. You don't even know. You're so deceived and so wrapped, that America got you so wrapped up in them stimulus checks that they passed out. 
<laughs> they still got you, you, you intoxicated with that. That you can't even believe that America would do such a thing. Well, I didn't make these laws up, buddy. They're real and they're in action. It's real. No one's disputing that. No one's disputing whether it's real or not. But these biased Americans that are fear that are that 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 just can't believe America would do this and can't let America go. It's either one or the other. Or you're so scared you don't know what you're gonna do if you decide to depart from America. You don't know what you're gonna do next. So it's either you don't believe America would do that. You can't let America go. You're biased towards America as a patriot or something like that. It's that part. You're so much of a patriot that you can't let you can't you you're not letting this information penetrate your mind. But it's true. And this is why we're going to war. This is why. And God is going to do the war. Just in case the, the FBI, the feds are listening. You don't, you would never have a physical operation from me. I would never go out here and, and blow and, 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 and do nuclear bombs and all of this. So I'm going to tell you that right now. Ain't none of that happening here. I'm using real laws as the catalyst for why your country is over. This is the catalyst. You thought I was a catalyst. You thought you were going to do something to me and start a world war. Yeah, some of them thought that. But guess what? The catalyst is you, is your information of 44 states married children. That's the catalyst. This will, this is the end of all people that are honorable. That are that are that are truly following a, a, a life of integrity. It's no way a military people. It's no way police. It's no way FBI, CIA can follow forty-four states married children in their right sound of minds. So if you stick with it, you lost your mind. You lost your mind, and you did. That's why they're acting crazy now. That's why this community is acting crazy because half of them are now in denial. You see what's going on. You see how crazy this country is. You know it needs to come to an end too. And it don't look cool you being relentless. You think it look cool with you being relentless. It does not look cool. You look like a complete moron. When you got 44 states married children and you're doing what? You're running around saying what? You're making money. Um, you're still under 44 states with child marriage. You're balling. You're out, you're balling out of control. You're still under state 44 states. I ain't hating. You're still under 44 states with child marriage. So see, no matter what you do, it you you look tacky with the country. Okay, you're balling, but you got 44 states with child marriage. That's tacky, buddy. That's tacky. That's tacky. It's tacky when you talk about protecting children with 44 states married children. That's tacky, buddy. That's tacky and out of pocket. <laughs> you tacky and out of pocket. <laughs> hey, you tacky and out of pocket, buddy. Hey, some of these kids are wearing tacky stuff these days anyway, right? They think that's cool to be halfway tacky. We made everything match when I was a kid. These kids want to be halfway tacky. Well, okay, here's some more tackiness for you. You out here trying to protect children, you got 44 states married children, buddy. That's real tacky. Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> Somebody obviously do like it. Somebody obviously does like it. Wouldn't be in the laws if somebody didn't. Boom. Somebody like this tackiness. See, the truth is, it ain't about the truth anymore. You just want to see us lose, and we're not going to lose. We're going to stick to the truth, and you're going to die. And I'm going to tell you why you're going to die. Because it's going to it's gonna overcome you. The truth is going to overcome you. I don't need anybody to back me. 
I don't need, I'm telling you, I know that God is going to destroy all of this because of this, because you contradicted yourself. Your whole culture did. Your whole culture did. And you still playing games. That's your death sentence. Buddy, you shouldn't be playing no games when you're 40, when 44 states in America is marrying children. This is facts. This is reality. Google searches are very serious and real. I know that might sound funny, but those are search engines, internet search engines with information. It's no way, unless it's an article, it's no way they can give you false information. It will be pulled down from the internet. Sorry to tell you. Now, finding it in articles is one thing. Doing a Google search and not and finding it outside of articles or or, um, article stories, you know what I mean? This this information didn't come from a conspiracy theorist. This is naked information that everyone, you know, that took the time to educate themselves. No, it's true. Well, you know, the age of consent is at 17 in New York. Let's start there. Okay, it ain't. It ain't. Yeah, you didn't expect that shot blast, did you? Boom. Well, everyone here knows that. (laughs) Whether you find that out on the internet or not, we know the age of consent is at 17 in New York. That's not a baby. That's not a man. That's not a woman. That is a child. Do you care what age the child is? We splitting hairs now these days. Because in my opinion, I feel like this. I don't care what age the child is that they have a sex with. It's the fact that it's a child. So if I ask you this question, do you care what age the child is that a, and a, that a fully grown man is having sex with? Do you care what check apps? Do you care what age the child is? You care what age the child is? Yes or no? You don't. It's the fact that an adult is having sex with a child. Which means they have the the brain of a child and the vagina of a child. So, another question is, do you care what age the vagina of a child is that the man is having sex with long as it's the the vagina of a child, right? That's all you care about, right? Do you care? You don't. It's the only thing you care about is that it's in a child vagina. That's all you care about, right? So then why is America, then why New York has got the age of consent of 17? That's child vagina. You don't care what age they are, Right? You don't care what age the child is. Then why New York got the age of consent at 17 having sex with children? See, you shouldn't have started with me. You start with me, baby, I'm going to give it to you. Yeah, come on, man. Your whole community been playing games. If you thought I wasn't going to get to you, you crazy. You shouldn't have been playing games. People that's on my side, you should have spoke up a little louder, buddy. You, y'all should have spoke up. Because you should have known better that y'all ain't even in the position to play with me. Okay, the age of consent is at 17 in New York State. In Florida, in Florida, it's not like that. In California, the age of consent is at 18, although they have other bad laws that put them in jeopardy. But California has the age of consent at 18. Florida has the age of consent at 18. So so all these these other states have done it. But New York didn't. And that's why you can't camouflage because other states seen the logic that I am seeing. And it ain't just it ain't just the South. California seen it. California seen the need to have the age of consent at 18. All these years they've had that age at 18. They've had that age. So it's not a Southern thing. Because what you people want to do is say, well, he's from the Bible Belt. That's why he thinks like that. They ain't got nothing to do with it. 
That has nothing to do with it. Anybody want 44 states married children? Whether you from New York or from wherever you at, Kentucky, anybody want people marrying children? So then it's not a Southern perspective. I, I'm just keeping it 100 with you. Because you quit to say it's a Southern thing. Ain't no Southern thing. Ain't got nothing to do with that. I, a matter of fact, I've been all around the country. I've lived everywhere. So it, it's not, you know, I've lived in California. I've lived in, Lo- I've lived in Los Angeles. I've lived in Seattle. You're talking to, talk to someone who's lived all, up and down the West Coast. So whether I was established or not, I began to soak up the culture and the perspective and the thought process of the people and see the people for how they are. And so if it was a, if it was a, uh, if it was a Southern mentality, it wouldn't apply here. I've been around too many different types of cultures and people here in America. And it ain't got nothing to do with that. What it has something to do with is being 100, being thorough. As people say they are, New York is not thorough when you got the age of consent at 17, which means men are having sex with 17, with, with child vagina. Right here in New York, for all you thorough people, all you people saying y'all thorough, 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 thorough. Well, you weren't thorough enough to take it to 18, now was you? You weren't thorough enough to make the age of consent at 18, now was you? Because thorough means clean. Nothing there. Nothing wrong. It's thoroughly clean. It's thoroughly right. So then how come you ain't thorough then? How come the age of consent is not thorough? That's why I rule whether you accept it or not. Sit there and talk that foolishness to me. I can show you more than one way that your country has been playing with these children and you didn't even know it. I'm showing you more than one way. I'm showing you factual stuff. This ain't no Jedi mind trick. This is factual information. Whether you want to accept it or not. And for you locals here in New York, you know for a fact that the age of consent is at 17. You know this. Which is not an adult that an adult is having sex with. You know this. And there's your best example right there. The greatest city and state in the world in the country. And they ain't even got the age of consent right there. I could, I could leave, I could stop there. You're supposed to be the whole example for the whole country. New York do. So then why you ain't got the age of consent at seven, eight, 18 and you having sex with, with children's vagina? Why you doing that? And you're supposed to be the greatest example of the for the whole country. New York, that's what they say. Greatest city in the world. Well, the greatest city in the world has the, is having sex with child vagina. See, I win. You shouldn't have, now how funny is it when you realize your reality? I don't see how you're laughing. I don't see how you're laughing at me. You look like a complete fool. Well, you got the age of consent at 17. That's a child. That's a child. At the end of the day, that is a child brain, a child's body. And you're having sex with that. You're having sex with a child's body. That's the reality. Legally, if they went to court for any reason, they would be considered as 17 a legal child. Right or wrong. But then when it comes to sex, they all of a sudden ain't that. But if you take them to court for any other reason, they're a child. They're legally a child. So why they ain't legally a child when it comes to sex? Boom. See, you started your own problems by playing with me. What you think I'm supposed to do? Sit back here and let you play with me? Like, I don't know y'all doing that. Like, I don't know. Imagine me in the dark. You know I ain't in the dark about nothing. I ain't in the dark about a, a nothing. Yeah. So you know we had to come slide back on you. You know we had to retaliate. 
when God knows you up here got the age of consider 17. God knows that. And it goes against your conscience, which makes it sin for you. Yeah, it makes it sin for you because no one agrees with it here in America. No one agrees with anybody having sex with children, period. There's no group of people that believes in that. If you ask the average person, they, they're going to say, no, you should wait till they're 18. That's what, they gonna, that's what Americans are going to tell you, which means you have two different communities. You have the government. And you have the community, the American community. You don't see the separation. You don't think like they think. You think 44 states should be married children? You think the age of consent should be at 17 in a New York and that's child vagina? Huh? You think that? So then that means your government is one community and you all are another community, which means you have two communities here in America. And he, he, this makes it this makes it solidified. This makes it certified. We're not the, all the same community. We don't all think the same. No, nah, that ain't that's that's totally divided. That's totally divided. Ain't no compromise in that. That's two different communities. Bottom line. Ain't no sifting through it, ain't no trying to make it better, ain't no reasoning. That's two different communities. When you got 44 states married children in a community that made those laws. It put those laws into action. That's a whole different community from you. Right or wrong? That's similar to you? You, you think like that? Kind of? You don't think like that at all. I'm trying to show you. Your government is a community by itself ready to go to war with you. They have made their own community not depending on you anymore. Now you see where I'm going with this, right? They're doing their own thing, living their own way. They feel like they have no adversaries. That's why they do stuff like that. Well, these people passing these laws, do you think they thought they was going to be killed? Those are dangerous laws. Those are the laws that's why this can be no more. But they're so arrogant, they didn't even think nothing would happen to them for making 44 states marry your children. So they're, they're, they are their own community. At, they're not afraid of you. They're not acknowledging your needs. They don't care what you think. And if you think it's old, dusty laws... Then why did they just pass the another law, July 1st, 2019, that allows adults to marry children at any age? This was three years ago. This was three years ago. That's 37 months ago. 37 months is not a long time. And they just passed these laws then. Just in case you think they don't think like that now. Boom. Boom. Just in case you think this is an old perspective of old America, then why did it happen 37 months ago? <laughs> Look, I have to, I have to get my money. I have to rule. I tore this country up with the truth and God used me. I give him the praise and glory. For all you Christians out there think I'm stealing God's glory, how? How? How am I still in God's glory? I co-worked with God. The Bible says, let another man praise you and not your own mouth. So I do suppose to get some type of praise, but you won't give it to me because you're ignorant of the Bible and you don't think that God's people deserve some type of praise. Well, the Bible says, let another man praise you and not your own mouth. The Bible says, give honor when honor is due. You haven't done either one. You haven't given honor. You haven't given praise. I'm showing you the Bible, the same Bible you read. How am I taking God's glory? Because I'm confident that I found out this information and I allowed and I made these videos. Was it me? Did I make the videos? Did I tell you about this information? Did I educate myself on this information? And you did and you, don't, and you don't think I'm supposed to acknowledge that? 
You tripping. Nah, nah, I'm going to make that clear. Especially when they're at war with me. That's the part you forgot about. That's why. That's what makes this dynamic the way it is. They said this and that and the third about me. I find out it's them that's doing it. Yeah. So I'm the one that revealed it. What they were doing when they was trying to reveal something about me. These are the things you forget about. This is the part of the information y'all forget about. When you think I'm taking God's praise, I ain't taking it. I mean, I'm too smart. I'm too informed and intelligent and educated spiritually to take God's praise. But God wants you to acknowledge that it was me. Yeah, he wants you to acknowledge me for who I am. I'm the one that sit here and, 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 and was educated on this, that he could use to speak this when you never spoke it and yet none of y'all are speaking it. Ain't none of y'all pass, uh, pacing the floors talking about this. You talking about everything that's safe. You talking about everything that don't bring no problems. And you don't think he want me to get no respect for it? You don't know God's kingdom. God don't walk with God don't want to. He gives us honor. The Bible talks about that. Honor, praise, blessings. God's be, God bestows these things on his people. Especially when they cooperate and co-work and are co-laborers in the kingdom of God. I am co-laboring in the kingdom of God. I'm a co-worker in the kingdom of God. And so you you in any job, you don't get no awards. You do get awards in a job. You don't think God is giving me an award when none of y'all ain't saying nothing. So for people say that, can God get some praise? God can get some praise. He's getting it. He's getting it. If you, if you smart enough to see it, he's using me to get it. He's using me and getting it. 